Sarah Vickers shares her personal experience that occurred during one of her stays at the Mount Washington Resort in New Hampshire. Sarah goes on to say that her and her husband, Keel, have shared many great experiences at the hotel, which others believe to be haunted. She tells us that while she has been skeptical of the ghostly encounters there, her husband has had some previous experiences of his own with what he thinks to be supernatural entities at the hotel. They usually stay at the Mount Washington Resort for New Year's Eve festivities. This time, they came to a supernatural exploration event hosted by one of their friends. The weekend Sarah describes in her account was full of paranormal lectures and intimate ghost hunting experiences. A specific session she remembers is one where they used EVP to see if they could communicate with any spirits in the room. After this yielded limited results, Sarah and Keel headed back to their room for the night. As here they experienced some strange things going on during the night. At one point, a light they keep on for their young son, Harry, turned off by itself, and one of the doors in their suite slammed shut on its own. After trying to investigate to see if things could be explained with reason, Sarah admits they were both shaken by this turn of events. It was then that their friend hosting the Paranormal Weekend came to get Keel, because her current EVP session kept it producing his name. When Sarah and Keel went to this session, his name could be heard on the recordings. Sarah was still skeptical even though the strange occurrences happened in their room, but then the recordings proved to be quite surprising. The voice on the recordings used specific words that reminded Keel of another time they had stayed there. There had been a weird encounter with a stranger who said he was as high as a kite, which the EVP produced. Sarah and Keel were the only two people on this weekend that would have known anything about that previous encounter and were both taken back by the familiar words on the recordings. All of these experiences tested Sarah's pronounced skepticism during her stay that weekend. She admits to being doubtful when hearing about Keel's previous experiences at the Mount Washington Resort, but after her encounters, she ends by saying her skepticism has changed to being more open-minded towards the paranormal experiences they shared during that weekend. Sarah attempts to use rationality and reason to describe her experiences with the supernatural at the hotel. This is reminiscent of the narrative witness stand analogy used by Diane Goldstein. When Sarah includes information about trying to investigate hidden causes of the strange things going on in her room, she is asserting that she knows these events did happen and that they could possibly be explained by everyday causes. As a successful woman in contemporary society, Sarah includes this information so she is not seen as crazy or irrational. I think that this could also be a way for Sarah to experience something with her husband. They both experienced what happened on that trip together and bonded over their supernatural experience. By saying she was skeptical at the beginning of her account, and then going on to add how Keel had previously encountered strange things at the hotel, I think Sarah might have wanted to share a supernatural experience with him to offer him support and acknowledge that what he experienced before was not necessarily his imagination.